I am the ninth Doctor from season one of Doctor Who. Um, I've chosen because he's probably one of my favorite Doctors, and it's a really easy cosplay to do. I, uh, I got pretty much everything from King Size Magazine. Uh, it's, it's all brand. Uh, it's not exactly accurate, but it's the closest I can get for my size because I'm kind of a big guy. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this, and, it, and it's, it's my first cosplay, so it's really cool. Hi, I'm Psylocke from X-Men, and I actually chose to do this costume because it's kind of like a little nostalgia thing for me. Jean Grey has always been my favorite X-Men character, but when I was younger, um, I used to play a lot of the X-Men games on Sega Genesis, and Psylocke just happened to be like one of the very few female characters, and at that point I was just like, I'm not going to pick a male character, I'm going to pick the female character. So it's like I always picked her, and so I kind of grew up with her, and she's again a kick-ass female who is a long line of the characters that I really enjoy doing. Um, I did not personally make any of the costume. I did do my own makeup. I did her tattoo over my eye. Um, I bought the costume and I had a friend um, commission the belts right here, and which she did an amazing job. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much my costume. And um, I'm Sala. Uh, I am dressed up as Kato, who was the Green Hornet sidekick played by Bruce Lee in the TV series of the, the Green Hornet and I decided to be a sexy lady version of the character. Pretty much all of the costumes I've ever done have been sexy lady versions of famous male characters. I did Han Solo last night actually and uh, <laughs> I, I really liked it. This is actually my first weekend I've ever done cosplay all weekend long and it's been really fun and GMX is pretty awesome. It's a good party. <laughs> Hello, I am Robin, formerly Dick Grayson. But uh, Dick Grayson was a little effeminate, so I figure if he didn't go the Nightwing direction, this is the way he would have gone. A uh, little sex change operation and uh, <laughs> kept on wearing the pretty green and red colors. So uh, I just picked this, out, uh, this costume up and figured this is the way to go. Uh, I am cosplaying as Malpheus from White Wolf's uh, RPG Exalted. Uh, Exalted is a kind of kitchen sink sort of game where it's got a lot of different mythologies mixed together. In particular, uh, Malpheus is the king of the titans that were imprisoned at the beginning of the human era by the humans known as the Exalted. And Malpheus is, of course, since he's been banished beyond the world, that he is now the demon emperor rather than the emperor of the world. Uh, and he has... I, no, it's too complicated to talk about. Uh, but the costume uh, really wasn't that complicated. I, you know, I uh, had to. I think the most complicated thing was uh, assembling the bracelets. That uh, and well, probably trying to keep everything from getting tangled up with the wig. But um, it's mainly just stuff you can order offline uh, or online, rather. Uh, you know, gold paint. This is clay. I followed some of the tutorials for the troll horns from Homestuck. Uh, they're covered in tape right now because I had an accident earlier. Um, but it's most, mostly, uh, generally speaking, everything's online that you need to know. Hi. I picked Steve Rogers for my costume, aka Captain America, and I'm here with Malice in Mind Special Effects Studio. This is just a temporary costume right now, but here shortly we're going to be coming in with Captain America from the first movie, The First Avenger. So hopefully we'll be able to take some more shots. Hi, I'm dressed as an Aridin and Pora Genderbend from the infamous comic Homestuck. I chose this character because I love his color scheme and I love his character. He has really great character development, even though the fandom makes him out to be a really bad character. He's really awesome. And one of the hardest parts that went into making this costume were the fins. I made them as an art project. I used, let's see, clay. I sculpted them out of clay and then I poured, um, what's that stuff called? No, the concrete -y stuff. Plaster, I poured plaster on them. Then I took the plaster negative and filled it with latex and voila. <laughs> I am dressed as Kanaya from Homestuck, the same comic that she's dressed as. Um, I'm pretty much dressed as this to support her. So I'm her new stepmom. And it's it's all it's the same sign as me, so it's my patron. So I'm learning still about everything. So uh, that's pretty much it. 
Um, the, I mean, the costume was just a lot of sewing and making sure that I got as close to the actual character portrayal as possible. And the chainsaw is just a, actually, that's a laundry detergent bottle <laughs> and some foam core board. So as long as you're creative, you can just use whatever's laying around to make it look good. My name is Selena Kyle. I'm AKA Catwoman. I'm from Gotham City. And I originally chose this costume because my friend over there had decided to do a Batman. And we were just sort of going with a Gotham City or a DC theme. We also have a Flash. I'm a costume maker up in La Follette, Tennessee. And you'll see a Ichigo, a Bankai Ichigo here in a minute that I also made. Hello, my name is Ichigo Kurosaki. I am from Karakura Town. I'm from the manga Bleach. And this is my favorite character. He's just a general badass. He's a soul reaper. Kicks everybody's ass. And my friend actually made this costume. And she put a lot of hard work into it. And I really appreciate it. 